My name is Carlo Ikabu and I play the role of King Jidofo in Chatham. I will come against the people of Mberi with the full might of my power. King Jidofo is a power hungry person who has assumed kingship on himself. He believes himself to be the custodian of uh, the potential custodian of different kingdoms. But secretly, he's a man who has uh, had his love stolen, stolen from him by an adversary. Most of the journey is based on the anger that dwells within. So I think that contributes a lot to most of the shenanigans that go on in Chatham. Through King Tudorfo. Aluba It is a difficult ritual. I may not be able to do it again for many months. Uh, Chatham, Chatham is an epic sort of series uh, based on the Igbo culture, different uh, cultures clashing. But most interestingly, it delves into the cultures and conflicts that exist within a family, polygamous family, men and women trying to find their destiny spiritually. The relationship between the people of the land and the land itself, land itself being the spirits that guide, you know, the place and how it plays a role in the destinies of uh, the young people and elderly people in the community. There's a lot of intrigue. I think that's the mainstay of, of the series itself. The intrigue is out of this world. You never know what's going to happen. Um, there's someone you're rooting for and the minute uh, you seem to think the person's... People are not as innocent as they seem. People are not as honourable as they seem. Uh, the people, the dishonorable people are not as dishonorable as they seem to be. So a lot of intrigue and shenanigans. I think that's the vein that runs through it. Do it. Oh, Simiri! Eti malunde tala ata bokugi. Here me, here to raise How did I land my room? They have mercy on me. I just gave me this room. I don't know how. It's just good. I just thank God. Well, um, I'm still reading the script. And at the moment, I think uh, we're up to... Well, I've read up to episode 70 and I'm so angry. Like, you know, being left on a cliffhanger and demanding to know what the next scripts are. You generally know what a series are going... Well, a project is going to be like when you read it. Um, I tend to read it like an audience, like I'm watching the series itself. And um, the way it arrests me is the way I know that it's potentially a good one. And this one, I've not been able to put, put it down. In fact, anything that it interrupts me from reading the script, when I was still reading the script, would be very, very irritating to me. And um, so far, the production so far surpassed even the script itself. So that tells you a lot. People must watch Chetam. I say people must watch Chetam. People must watch Chetam. Uh, what that means is I'm telling you people, go and watch Chetam. No, the, the, the story is amazing. I'm not the one who toots my horn. I don't believe in that. I believe in my work speaking for, it's speaking for itself. But um, trust me, I've read the scripts. I've done it. And above everything else, the production is so seamless. There's a lot of teamwork in it and the producer very wisely and in the genius form threw us away far away from our homes into the deep forest as you can see around us here. Far, even if you want to go and buy biscuits or something you have to travel to do that. No one's ready to do that. I mean you have to go through swamps and all kinds of things. So we're being forced to be a team and work as a family in here. Matter of fact uh, one of our colleagues fell ill, had some, you know, ailments. All of us were in her room, you know, wanting to know how she was. The thing is, I've always said it's about time we celebrated our own, appreciate our own culture, where we come from, because, yeah, history has been relegated to the background, but this is the best way of bringing our history to us, to know where we're going in the future, what we stand for as a people. Whatever Yorubas, the Igbos, the Hausas, the Shakiris and everything, we need to celebrate what we have. The beautiful thing about African stories is, even if it's told about South, South Africa or Kenya or Uganda or um, Nigeria or Cameroon, it resonates with every other culture and that is what we want. We need a united Africa. We need to be able to speak for ourselves and stand up for ourselves and believe in ourselves. 
So I think that's what I want the audience to get from this. I don't know what I want them to take away from my character. Um, don't be too power drunk. Moderation is key. Self-control is key. <laughs> that's about it. I'm not giving anything else away. Being a different character from myself, um, hyperactive. I learned a lot from him actually. The problems with excess, uh, lack of self-control. The evils of being power drunk basically. Yes. Yeah.